Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I am going to be going to do my May TBR. But first, I'm going to just do a little quick wrap up of what I've been reading. This is from January, so all the way up from January to now is what I read. It's not a lot. In fact, it's barely anything, but one, one of these books is a big book, and two, I don't have a lot of time to read. Seriously, all my reading time, time keeps slipping from me, so I'm trying to find more time to read. So... That is why this why I'm just putting this quick little wrap up in this video because it would just be a really short video video if it, if I made it its own. So the first book that I had that I finished, I think I finished it last month, but it took me a while because it's big and because I don't ha I didn't have a lot of time to read it, so it took me a while that way. So the first book is. The second book in the Dark Artifices trilogy by Cassandra Clare, Lord of Shadows. Yeah, so this took me a while for all the reasons I just previously stated. And also because it, um, I love the Shadowhunter Chronicles. I I have all the other t series. I, I, I love this ward. It's one of the, one of the best. But I'm... Um, I, and I love the Dark Artifices, but the same thing happened with, happened when I was reading Lady Midnight. I think it took me a while to get into the series and into the characters. Like, I'm, sometimes I don't think I'm as attached to these characters as I am to the other series. But I, I still love this love this. I, I still love it. I still love the characters. I, it takes me about... Plus, I also, it's also been a while since I, since I read Lady Midnight, so there were some things I forgot, so, yeah. But, this was a very good book. Again, it's Shadowhunter Chronicles. I love this series, so I give it, um, 5 out of 5. Um, yeah, I give it a 5 out of 5 stars, so, yeah. I I could I couldn't not like it or not read this because just because yeah I'm just repeating myself now so that's the first book I finished and the second one which I am still currently reading but maybe by the time I upload this video I'll be done it hopefully I'm about halfway through it it's the second book in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviard Glassard. I'm about kind of ha more halfway, maybe more. It looks it looks less when I show it here, but trust me, I can see it here, and I'm like past, and I'm like a little more, a little more than halfway through it. But I love this series since I read the first one. Again, it's been a while since I read the first one, so. Took me a while to get everything straight, but I love this. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really hoping I finish this soon. Like I said, maybe I'll I'll be done it by the time this video goes up. But yeah, right now it's looking up to be a, a five out of five stars. So yeah, it's a dystopian series where there's two two different types of people: silver and red bloods. The Silvers are the more elite people, more the more ritual people, and they have powers. And our main character is Red, but there's something special about her. And I won't give any spoilers, but I love this series, and I highly recommend it if you have not read it yet. So yeah, these were the two books I read in, what, four months? Yeah. I, I need to find more time to read, so... But to the main point of this video, 
is my May TBR and I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to try to give myself more reading time. So I'm being a little bit indulgent or whatever. With this month is pile, so I'm just going to jump into it. The first book I plan on reading during the month of May is, uh, this feels dusty, is Fangor by Rainbow Rowell. And it's, yeah, just, it's a te contemporary book about a girl who's basically a fangirl of, I'm not sure of, an, a musician or a singer, I'm not sure. But I, I, I read the summary and I f looked really interesting and, and entertaining. So yeah, I wanted to give it a try. So it's the first book I'm going to be reading. And then the second book I'm going to be reading during this month is part of a long beloved series of mine. I love this series and um, the author has kind of made a, kind of like a spin-off series but I think it's, it's still, I don't know. It was in celebration of the 10th anniversary of that series so they came up with this which is part of the House of Night series but this is it's kind of a spin-off of it. It's a House of Night, the other world series. The first is the first book loved. <laughs> the second book of it did come out and then the third book is almost out and yeah I really need to get going on this book. I love it. I love this the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cass so much that of course when they came out with this new kind of second series part of that world I had to get it because I love it. It's a vampire series but it's more magic involved and yeah one my favorite and I'm gonna absolutely love this love the, the series so yeah and then I'm definitely going to try my best to get through these two books during this month and if I finish those ones then I have some have more I'm gonna would like to get to and it's three books from the Clearwater Crossing series by Laura Pitt and Roberts. It's books, hold on. It's books 12, 14, and 14, Hope Happens, Dream On, and Love Hearts. So see, this was a, a favorite series of mine when I was a little bit younger and I'm finally I finally got I got back into them and I'm finally reading the rest of the books. Hopefully, I'll finish these two during this month, and maybe I'll have time to get to these three. Otherwise, if I don't, that's fine. They'll just be into June. So, but since these three are really small books, I should I should finish them in no time. That's my TBR for this month, and that was also my wrap up for the um previous months I read. So yeah, have you guys read either these two book series or these ones? Have you read any of them? So let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to know what's on your May TBR. So put that put that down in the comments and we can talk about books. So give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not for more upcoming book videos. Can't wait till then. Bye!